Ladies and gentlemen, this is your host here once again. It's Team Rai Rai. Now, before I go any further, I'm just wondering anyone out there on social media had a chance to listen to the podcast from earlier today. If not, smash that bell. You will get a notification from YouTube. Now, if that doesn't work out, hit the subscribe, hit that like button, leave a comment from the article. And samping from one for right now. You know, from earlier, and do the same thing for this one. Thank you very much for all the support. Now it is time once again to discuss wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of interesting topics to discuss for you. So sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, grab some drink. Now, if you don't do nothing like that, maybe you don't chill like a villain and hear my thoughts and opinions. And a certain topic, and of course, the article will be down below. Let's roll this. Now, let's discuss about Kenny Omega. Now, we all know by now he's signed with the AEW Wrestling Company, so that is good for him. But before that, there was rumors that he was going to, to sign with the WWE. I had a feeling that's not going to happen because if he did, he might have a great debut on Raw or a SmackDown Live, most likely on Raw. Then a few months later, or maybe longer, that he will definitely will get mixed in a shovel. That happens, you know. Probably because W does not give a crap about certain wrestlers, and of course, McMahon only cares about his boys, like John Cena and Roman Reigns. And etc. You know, there's only certain wrestlers that he loves. You know. Okay. Now, there's one thing that WWE did not give Kenny Omega. Listen to this. Kenny Omega end up signing with AEW instead of WWE after Vince McMahon company did everything they could to get him. However, it seemed like there was one thing that the clear, if I said it right, that's great. If I'm not, sorry, wanted the W couldn't give him. Listen to this creating control. Is he the first wrestler out of the blue? Had an opportunity to work for W and he wants. Creating control. I don't know if it'd be a good thing or a bad thing. Now we all know that W is trying her best to get even better. Do you think W should take a huge risk and give him that power? I don't know. That's kind of. I don't know. That's kind of huge risk. It's like the time that back in WCW, Big Show, Scratch at Total Botch, Big Sexy, Kevin Ash had control of WCW or did he? You know, I know he was the big honcho on TV, but I don't know if he was big honcho backstage and eventually they made bad decisions and they folded. You know, I know you guys say, Team Rubber, you got your story all screwed up. Hey, this is what I'm hearing back in the day. So there you go. So maybe W don't want to take the country on. Do you think that would be a good decision if W signed Kenny Omega way before he signed with AEW and give him control? Creating control. I don't know if it's full control or part control. I'm not too sure. But I guess they decided goodbye, Kenny Omega. It was good. Have a nice meeting, but no control for you. So maybe he's doing that with AEW who knows so it is W's loss and it is AEW's gain and probably if he did sign with W probably W will mess up his character anyway however they're gonna use him so that kinda sucks I don't know how many years he signed with the company with this new company and I don't know how much money probably offered him tons of money but probably if he did sign with W Probably W will offer him ten times more money than AEW, AEW will ever will, will. You know, 
I don't know how old is he. I don't know if he's very good in independent scene or not. A lot of people out there think he's garbage. A lot of people think he's freaking awesome. That's okay. Everyone out there have own their own opinion. Can you just imagine if Kenny Omega did jump to the scene for WWE? We could see AJ Styles versus Kenny Omega. You know, I know they have a lot of history for independent scene, but they ever met at WrestleMania, like the headline WrestleMania, or SummerSlam, or even Raw, that'd be awesome. So, you guys can read the rest of it. I'm not even going any further. I never knew that he wants creating control. So, that's new to me. So, he's got to be the first guy that went to a different went to one company and goes to a different company and they ask for creating control and of course McMahon says no way goodbye okay have a good one like subscribe leave a comment hit the notification all the whole social media accounts down below everyone out there enjoy your rest of your Friday and have an excellent weekend from Lee from your lovely host here Team Rari sorry I got my words all effed up towards the end and I'll be back sometime tomorrow Look out for that and look out for my WrestleMania 35 productions. It'll be up sometime next week, sometime later.